any such um, equipment um, over the official residence or even the private residence of a head of government or head of state or the police headquarters or, or government headquarters. I mean, in the, in, the, in the state of Washington, for example, um, Washington, sorry, Washington, D.C., I mean, it's a completely no-fly zone. You understand? It's a completely no-fly zone. Um, so, so, so this is this is a, this is this is an international um, practice, you know, that you you cannot fly any such um, device over such residences for obvious reasons, um, for obvious reasons, and one has to understand that um, drones can carry um, poisons, they can carry a bomb, they can you can uh, you can you can have a, a, a gun attached to it and remotely um, use it. You know, um, so so these things happen. I mean, in in, in the war in Afghanistan and places, countries use drones um, to um, deliver bombs. Um, so these things can be used and so forth. And and so we must never try to politicize these things. Um, and then when we become a victim, those who those who criticize the police action, if you become a victim, what what happens to you? What what, what will be your reaction? You know, if if anyone of any one of the citizens in Dominica would go by anyone's home today or tomorrow morning for a drone and circle, circle your home and and take photographs of yourself and and so forth and and please post this on social media and so on, how would we react? Um, but having said so, we're gonna be passing um, some very strong and clear um, um, statutory um, rules and ordinances um, where those drones are concerned. Um, so that will be done in, in, in very quick time. But, but I would caution Dominicans, there's a, there's a, there's a tendency that um, people who break the law, um, there's a tendency by the opposition in particular to treat it political. And I believe for anyone who is aspiring to be a leader of a country, who is going to be entrusted with the security of the state, and who's going to be entrusted with, with state security, regional security, um, um, uh, confidential stuff, you have to show leadership, not, not, not then, but now. And, and the lack of leadership that Mr. Linton, the leader of the president, continues to show um, is really unfortunate. Um, the rule of law is the rule of law. And whether that person is a supporter, any supporter of mine who breaks the law and comes to me to complain, I don't. I don't. Um, I don't give them support. I, I may. I may direct you to a lawyer because you're entitled to a lawyer. And as as a leader of the party, my party, I will facilitate facilitate the payment of a lawyer for you to defend yourself. But not to call the police or to to tell the police or drop the charges against you or don't charge you. No, the law is the law, and, and I tell people that you have to respect the law, respect of who you are, and that is what leadership is about. That is what um, managing the face of country. Um, about and and just simple piece of advice, Mister. You may have a few people who might support your actions. You understand? But what what harm are you causing to the country? And 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 and, and compromising the police and wanting to compromise the police and the law enforcement um, system is it's 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 a very dangerous practice. That that and this is this has never really happened before. The opposition leaders have engage themselves in demonstrations um, um, on, on national issues, not about somebody being arrested or charged with violating a law in the country. And, and um, that's a dangerous thing because the law is there to protect every one of us. You understand? And today it might be my rights and privileges that are being um, violated, but tomorrow what happens when it's you? And then you, the police say, well, you know, there's nothing I'm going to come and so on, or the police comes and arrests arrest the person. And then what's going to happen? Somebody is going to um, demonstrate and, and seek to create problems outside the police headquarters? This is a democracy. This is a country that is governed by the rule of law. And if somebody, and under our system, somebody is, is innocent until proven guilty, and you are um, allowed for due process, and you are allowed to defend yourself, and so any, any responsible aspiring leader um, would want to suggest to whoever it is, my brother, my sister, your lawyer is with you, let your lawyer deal with the matter and so forth. Yes, you can show support 
in, in ways, but the idea of wanting to storm the police headquarters or, or um, denigrate the, the police um, for carrying the actions, these are the same police we're going to need to continue to defend the country. And, 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 and if you're not um, in the high leadership position and you're doing this, you cannot change when you become, if you become, on, thank God you, Mr. Little, they'll become a prime minister of the country um, under no circumstances whatsoever. Um, because it's bad news for Dominica, um, you know. So, so I'm not concerned about that. Um, I'm concerned about the perpetuation of that culture in Dominica. That um, we believe that people can break the law and they should not be um, charged or arrested or questioned because they support a particular political party, and it's unfortunate. Prime Minister Scavendish.